Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so it has been a minute since I have filmed. How have you guys been? I hope you guys have been doing fantastic. I just got home from Utah. I was in Utah with Urban Decay for a little bit. It took us out on a trip to learn how to ski and snowboard and that was so much fun. And I just got home and I saw this package sitting here for me at the house and it is the Kylie Cosmetics Weather Collection. Hear that, Thunder? Holy shit. So basically I thought it would be really, really fun to just go ahead and do a review and demo of this collection. I actually tweeted that I was really, really excited about the collection because I thought it was super cute and I thought it was really cute that I was inspired by Stormy, who is her daughter. Of course, Kylie has a, a daughter now named Stormy. I love a good theme, you know? I love a good theme. I love when a product has like a story behind the product and this whole entire collection is based off of the weather and Stormy and like very lightning-y and I really, really like that because it tells an entire story. You know, for me and my brand, I'm gonna be having like products that come out that revolve around one concept or one story behind it and that's kind of how I see my brand going so when I see brands do like a cool like collection or something behind it or something a strong focal point behind the collection I get really really excited because to me it just shows a lot of thought and a lot of energy going into a collection or a product you guys know I've always been so 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 honest and forthcoming about my Kylie collection reviews I'm always very brutally honest about them whether I think they're great or whether they're not whether they're worth the price or they're not worth the price this collection is not any different in any way just because I like the collection idea does not mean that I'm going to be biased in any way or just because I was the product does not mean I'm going to like make it seem like it's amazing when in actuality it could not be amazing. I'm honest about that with every fucking product on my entire channel. I feel a lot of you guys pride me for that because I'm very very honest and forthcoming without being like a dick. <laughs> and that's just how I feel I am. I've always been like that. So today's video is no different. I just wanted to say that before the video even started. There's a lot of products in here. I really really wanted to try them out and test them out. So I left a lot of the areas of my face blank because I want to try out some highlighters, the eyeshadows, the lip products, and the eyeliner as well. So we're gonna go right in. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill. With that, I say in every single video, if you do not like me, if you don't like my vibe, if you don't like my videos, it's all good. You don't need to watch me. There's no point in leaving hate comments down below. Just click off and that's all good. I'm not everyone's cup of tea at all, but I could be yours. If you guys do like this video, please go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what is up? I'm Manny MUA and welcome to my channel. Zaya just jumped on my lap and she wanted to make an appearance. Let's go and get right into this Kylie Cosmetics weather collection review and demo. We're just gonna try a bunch of shit out. There's a ton of products in this collection, which is super, super cool. I love when I see a big old collection. It's just a big old fucking <laughs> freaking collection. So let's go ahead and start off with the highlighter products. I have no highlighter on my face. We have a loose powder highlighter, and we actually have a new pressed powder highlighter. One side of the face is going to get one, the other side is going to get another. Let's open the loose powder. I also love the packaging of this. So this is a gray packaging. It has like that really cool like holographic lightning bolt attached to it, which I think is stunning. I personally really, really like it. I like that every single part of the collection has different elements uh, when it comes to like this is supposed to be like a water droplet, I'm assuming, like a little water droplet effect. Lightning bolts, lightning bolts, a little cloud. We're going to take the shade lightning bolt. We're just going to look at it and see what kind of color it is. I'm intrigued. These have been really nice. Every single one of these I've used from Kylie have been very, very, very nice. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same. If, if it's the same formula, there's gonna be no qualms with this. And I like that's in the yellow little lightning packaging. So I just watched it right here, guys. This is Lightning Bolt Loose Powder. It's a very, very golden highlighter. So basically it's like a white with gold flecks in it. And I feel like it might be a little too yellow, actually. It's more of a yellow gold for my complexion. So we're not gonna actually use that one. We're gonna take the face palette, which I was actually more and more intrigued about. But if you do like a golden, yellowy golden highlight, you guys will really, really enjoy this, I think. Personally, I'm not really into yellow highlighters on my face. It's just not my thing. So we're gonna go ahead and not use that. I'm gonna take the pressed powder highlighter palette. This is what I was excited for. Dude, doesn't my skin look so nice right now? Like the skin is looking really like good. Let me read the prices. Stupid ass. Let me read the prices. We're gonna go over the prices round. Okay guys, so the Ultra Glow retails for $14. I'm assuming this is what, what this is. A Kylie Jenner loose Ultra Glow. So next we're going, we have the highlighter palette. Oh my God, this is actually so fucking cute i like that it has like the reflective cloud and then it has a velvety cloud that like, actually feels velvety oh this is fucking cute and then we have right here boom highlighters right there this guy retails for 44 dollars. so this one is definitely more of a pricier item not gonna lie it's kind of priced high to me but let's go ahead and swatch them and see what we think they feel pretty fucking great god damn I just swatched Stratus. I'm gonna swatch all four actually. Stratus is like the one that looks like the prettiest in the pan. It's this one right here. It has the most like intense like reflection. Oh my God. So these are the four right here. These are the four highlighters right there. Okay, so we have the four highlighters right here. 
Every shade is beautiful in its own way. These are more of a foiled finish, these two right here. Daydream and Stratus, much more foildy in their swatch. They have much more of a reflection to them. The two on the sides, Cloud Nine and Golden Hour, those ones are a little bit more of a powdery finish. They're not as emollient as the other two. They're not as reflective to me. The middle two are the most reflective. So anyway, let's go and try it on the skin. You guys are probably sick of me fucking battling my fucking mouth. The gums are running. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and take a Morphe R36 brush to apply the highlight, which, oh, I love this fucking brush. And the Morphe R36, don't sleep on this fucking brush. It's so good. Okay, we're going to go in with the shade Daydream. Well, the bitches have come for blood. Honestly, this is so, this is gnarly. Shades like this that have like that really intense emollient feel usually give off that intense reflection. So this is definitely no different. This is gnarly. Oh my God. Well, so far so good. Holy titties. We're gonna go ahead and swatch this side right here as well. These are real, dude, these are really nice. Like this is real nice. For me so far, that's, this is a win. Oh my God. It's like so, it's literally like so bright where I'm like shook. Okay, so when I'm looking straight into the camera, like this, I can see that there's a little bit of a white cast on the highlighted planes. It's almost like the color is a little bit too light for me. It's giving me like a little bit of a cast when looking straight into the camera, but usually highlighters that are like this that are really, really bright will give a cast. Like no matter what, like it's gonna fucking happen in the smiles and shit, like you're gonna get a cast. Like I'm actually kind of floored. I'm not gonna lie, like this is really pretty. Win, es, este us, es un win. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like. Are you caring? Honestly, it's really good. It's fucking nice. God damn. That is $44 for that palette. And it comes with 0.11 ounces per shade. So basically it's four times 3.1 grams, which basically equals out to about 12.4 grams of product in this entire thing. It's a good amount of product. I can't tell you whether or not it's justifiable to spend $44 on it. That is something that's on you guys. If you guys want to spend the money, awesome. If you don't, awesome as well. But I will say that this worked very, very nicely. Knowing that it works so well now, I would personally buy this. For sure. Now let's go ahead and move on to the palettes. We have the calm before the storm. I just love how it's so stormy, you know? So got this guy right here. Uh -huh. And then we have the eye of the storm. See, I just like how it's so clever. Right here. We got the two palettes right here. See that shit? See that cuteness shit right there? So let's go ahead and open up. We have the gray one, which comes with 10 eyeshadows. That's this one right here. And then we have, oh my God, this is just fucking pastel as shit. And then we have this guy, which also comes with 10 shades right here. Let's go ahead and see how much these cost. So the eyeshadow palettes retail for $40 for 10 shades. That retails about $4 per shade. However, each shadow is only point. 03 ounces this guy i will definitely admit i think is priced a little bit too high i would spend maybe like 35 bucks on this at the most i think 40 is a little bit kind of expensive for me personally but then again her palettes usually retail for 45 for nine shades and this one is 40 for 10 but they're smaller so it's one of those things you gotta fucking you gotta think so these are the two palettes right here these are from the stormy collection i think that both palettes are really unique. This one is definitely more of a pastel moment for sure. And then we have more of a dark stormy collection right there. So I don't know what should I go in with y'all. For me, this isn't really giving me the transitions that I personally need and want. This color right here in the middle is like calling me this mint. The mattes feel great. The matte feels, oh my God, the matte is wonderful. <laughs> Shit, that's fucking pretty. I'm not necessarily living for the shimmers though. I feel like they're a little bit chunky when I'm swatching these guys. So I, I swatch this one, I swatch this one. I feel like this is more of a chunkier situation going on. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'm just not into like the chunkier intense shades. The mattes are beautiful. The chunkier ones, I'm not a huge fan of. They're a little bit too powdery for me in the yellow palette. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and take these palettes instead. That silver is, e ooh, I'm sick. It's beautiful. We're gonna take the silver. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take that fucking silver because it's sickening. I'm a little hyper today, you guys. You know, I'm just coming back to filming. It's a full moon right now. I'm feeling my oats. I'm feeling the water bending vibes right now. If y'all are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What did you eat? Um, nothing. I love how all these are like named something so cute. We have like little names like Electric, Moon in Back, Whirlwind, Stargaze, Cyclone. Really, really cute names. So we're gonna go and take this shade right here, which is like more of a transition shade. Again, I do get annoyed that this does not have a mirror. I'm like, God damn it. I wish that this had a mirror. My eyes are primed, by the way. I'm gonna go on in. Oh, that's too light. Nope, we're gonna take the darker grayer one. The purpley shade. Cause that is not gonna work. Um, 
Hmm. Okay, so this is what we have on the eye so far. It's like this like really weird. This color is actually so much lighter than I thought in the pan. Tell me in the pan that color right there, that darker gray, right there does not look dark. It's going on to me literally like so light like a pastel light grayish purple that kind of shocked me i'm not gonna lie by the way guys that transition shade i went in with a morphe m535 amazing for a transition very 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 perfect very fluffy it's just a really 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 nice blending brush it's extremely soft i love this brush and i'm gonna take a morphe r39 and that really nice deep plum shade and go ahead and put that on the outer corner I mean, this is a stormy collection. I feel like I need to be a little bit more smoky today. This is a very cool tone for me. I just want you guys all to know that I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, we have this grayish, we have basically have a gray smoky eye. And honestly, the colors in here, I did not expect these colors to turn into this. I really didn't. For some reason, they're translating a lot lighter on my skin. And that usually does not happen for me, literally ever. So the glitter eyes retail for $40 for each pair which i thought was a little bit pricey and by a little bit i mean it's fucking expensive i was like wait for real like is that dead ass or no okay guys so when i first saw it i was like bitch that's expensive i was kind of like oh but then i remember that the magnificent metals glitters from stila are 24 bucks and those have 0.15 ounces these guys have 0.22 ounces so it has more and technically it's a better deal because you're getting two for 40 basically one for 20 bucks and the Stila ones are 24 bucks. So to me, I was like, okay, you know what? That's more justifiable. I still thought it was a little bit pricey. I was a little like, whoa, whoa, Nelly. Let's not get crazy. But looking at it in that way, I'm like, okay, you know what? It's more justifiable. The Magnificent Metal Glitters are 24 bucks from Stila. And those are like the like industry standard to me for glittery, beautiful shadows. So we're gonna go ahead and take one of these guys. I just wanna see how it looks. Okay guys, so I just swatched one of my hair. So this is one of them right here swatched. And it's beautiful. It is a beautiful shade. It's a really cool, unique, like purple gray. It has like a purple shift to it. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it does. This is in the shade Superstar. So I went ahead and just swatched both of them. So right here, this is what they look like. It doesn't really read glitter to me. It reads as more of a really pretty electric eyeshadow, more so than a glitter. I'm gonna swatch the Stila one next to it. And this to me is much more of a glitter. Okay guys, so here we have right here. This is the Stila one. This is a glitter Stila Magnificent Metal Shadow. So when you look at it like that, it looks like Glitter. These are more of a pigmented as fuck cream shadow. This is more of a glitter. So to me, you guys, these aren't really glitters. They are more so really beautiful cream shadows, but they're definitely not what they claim to be. They're not glitter eyeshadows like the Stila ones are. So that's just what I think personally. If you guys think that's glittery, by all means, awesome, go you. But to me, that's not a glitter. That's a cream shadow. It doesn't have like micro fine glitter sparks. Sparkles. Like, you don't, you don't got that. So I thought I really wanted to put that on the lid, but honestly, I don't. I'd rather just keep it on the shadow realm. So I'm gonna go in with that same silver shadow because it is quite beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and put that on the lid and see. <gasps> That's metal. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. Look at that. That is actually stunning. Oh my God. How did she create a formula like this? That's what I wanna know. How did she do this shit? Definitely, it is more of an intense shade. It definitely has some fallout. Um, and that's still with me using it with my finger. The effect is quite beautiful and um, shook. Wow. She's kicking. She's kicking, huh? Okay, guys, so I kind of want to take it there. Let's just do it, you guys. We're having fun. We're doing a fucking review. Why not play with some color? So we're going to take the eyeliner, which is $14. And this guy is a bright yellow eyeliner, I believe. It is. It is. It really is. We're just gonna try this out, y'all. I don't know how it's gonna go. I really don't. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know if it, the product itself isn't as pigmented as they want it to be, or it's the... Actually, no, it's pretty pigmented. Look, it's pretty fucking pigmented. I think it's more so the fact that I'm using such a bright eyeliner on such a dark eye. It's not translating as bright yellow as I want it to. We're gonna have to just build and get it there. You know what I'm saying? But so far it's really, really creamy, glides very nicely. Now, is this the most bright yellow eyeliner I've ever worn? No, it is not, but it definitely gets the job done, but it's not my favorite eyeliner ever. Anyway, it's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other eyeliner off of camera and do a little bit, maybe I'll do a little bit of yellow in the waterline too. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, hold on. Okay, bitch. We made it fucking work. I ended up using the highlighter, the loose one on the inner corner to give me a yellow pop there, and on the brow bone to give me a little bit, a little bit of yellow pop. Obviously, as you guys can see, the whole vibe here is yellow and grays and metals and just very like fucking, tell me like you will not rule the world with this fucking look. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of Lightning Well. We are down to the last product and we have three 
lipsticks right here. All of them very cute. I love the packaging. I love them. I love them. I love them. We have just our classic lipsticks. So let's go ahead and try these out and see what we think. I'm going to swatch all three of them. Is this a gloss? We have a gloss. Who knew? So we have the three lipsticks right here. Each of them are beautiful. I love that they're in like this really cool metalized component. We have the first shade Nova right here, which is in a blue. Oh, oh my gosh. Do we see the cute lightning bolts in the bullet? Like I love that little detail. So we have right here Nova, which is a really deep, more so terracotta pink. And this is Nova right here. As we see, it's a very, very deep pink. We have next, okay. Okay, we have Nightfall right here. Holy fuck, that's pigmented as fuck. Look. For a black lipstick, that's really, really nice. And now, last but not least, we have Cosmic, which is a more brown tone nude, which I think is probably one I'm gonna go with. Much more of a cool tone right there. We have Cosmic, very, very pretty. So lipsticks, you guys retail for $18, which is like a classic lipstick bullet. Like the MAC ones I think are 18 as well. So I just feel like that's a classic lipstick. And then we have Flash Gloss right here. I'm gonna swatch that. Do you know what I hate about Kylie's Gloss Wands? When you first start it out, it gives you like, it's like a little crunch. It gives you like a little crunchy. I don't know why that just fucking, I hate it. So this is the gloss. That gloss is fucking crazy beautiful. It has like a really beautiful golden, purple pink reflection it's all of it. it's like cosmic as fuck it's very flashy gloss you guys retails for 16 dollars. i think that's a very fair price for a gloss 16 bucks so let's go ahead and put on we're gonna take this shade i love how all of them have the little bullet thingy as we can see they're very pigmented i would definitely say the formula is more of a satin formula it's not more it's not really creamy because there's more pigment than that but it's not a matte by any means so i definitely would say it's more of a satin finish feels really comfortable on the lips okay we add a little bit, just maybe a little bit of flash, just like a, a hair. Oh, I can actually see the pinkness in Oh my God, I can see it. Sickening, I can see the pinkness in it. Okay, that's with the gloss. And this is the face, y'all. This is the whole face using Miss Kylie Jenner weather collection. And I feel like I really took the weather, the storm, the lightning by the balls. You know, I was inspired by this. I was inspired by this, you know, you see it? Okay, you guys, so that is it for the entire try-on portion of today's video. That is it for today's demo. We did the entire thing. I showed you guys swatches. I showed you guys the makeup on the skin. I showed you guys what it looked like on the fucking carita. And so now we're going to decide whether or not the collection was worth it. What do we think of the collection? Let's go ahead and break it down because as a whole, I think that as a whole, the collection is really, really pretty. I think that it's very, very cohesive. But there's definitely some things that would change about the collection personally. So let's go ahead and just dive right into that. So loose highlighter, guys. I thought this was really, really pretty. It's in my inner corner right now. It's on my brow bone as well. Definitely going to give you a really, really pretty golden sheen to the skin as you can see has a golden finish on both of them i'm personally not a huge fan of yellowy highlighters so for me this i would not purchase it myself because i'm not a fan of golden yellow highlighters it wasn't really a hit for me but of course the product itself is very pretty it looks really nice on the skin it's just a personal preference next we have the pressed powder highlighting palette this was an absolute win this is actually probably my favorite product of the entire collection i think it's beautiful it looks beautiful on the skin i think it looks so radiant and so blinding but so like buildable at the same time it's just stunning now let's go and move on to the palettes so you guys so these palettes honestly the more i played with them the more i wasn't like the biggest fan to be honest and to, for me both these palettes were not really a win do the mattes work really nicely yes of course they blend really pretty they look really nice on the eyes once you get it there but for me it's the color story it's the color scheme i just didn't like the color scheme for these personally you know like this one like this pastel one i didn't really like these shimmer shades i thought they were all kind of too chunky and a little bit too flaky that's like the right words too flaky the mattes were beautiful but the color scheme i didn't really enjoy for that one and same for this one i didn't really really enjoy this color scheme either i thought it was kind of hard to use and it would only be like a cool tone palette i'm not into cool tones personally this look i did of course is more of a cool tone look it's not my favorite look i've ever done i think it's turned out sickening and i live for it now but i really had to like finesse and get there with a bunch of different shades from this palette for me it's just not a huge win color story wise so next we have the three lipsticks and let's do the eyeliner at the same time. The eyeliner is not the best eyeliner when it comes to yellow. I definitely have tried brighter yellows. I think even the ColourPop one is a little bit brighter than this yellow and is much cheaper. The Inglot light yellow liner is a lot brighter than this, a little bit more expensive as well. But if you guys are looking for a yellow eyeliner, that's gonna work really well and it's gonna stay on your eyes. And this one honestly feels really good. It's not too heavy, it doesn't feel too intense. Then, hey, great, you guys found a great yellow liner and it is really, really cute. And I love the 
lightning bolt on it. I personally wouldn't buy it just because I know of other yellow eyeliners that I like a little bit more. The lipsticks were a complete win to me. I thought they were all so beautiful. I love that lightning bolt in the press on the lipsticks. I think that's really, really well thought out. I think that it's really beautiful and I think it really goes well with the entire color story as well as the three colors. It's a blue, yellow, and gray color story. That's the entire color story of the entire collection. Every lipstick was very pigmented, very beautiful. The lipsticks were a complete win to me and I thought these were fantastic. And last but not least, honey, we have the gloss. We have the fucking gloss right here. And honestly, the gloss grew on me. I'm not gonna lie, the gloss grew on me. Is this a everyday gloss for me? Absolutely not. This is really intense. It's very, very vibrant and crazy and it's very electric. Definitely, definitely an electric gloss. I would not wear this every day, but it is very, very, very cool. And it's a really cool addition to my collection. I don't actually have a gloss color like this at all. So it's very, very unique to me. And I, that's why I enjoy it so much. But is it the most wearable color? Not really. I think it's kind of a harder color to wear when it comes to the gloss spectrum. And I like it over top a lipstick. Maybe not by itself because I think it would be too intense. But over a lipstick, it's quite stunning. So that is it, you guys. That's it for my entire collection review demo swatches of everything here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I actually really, really love doing full reviews on full collections and things like that. I think they're so much fun to review. Let me know if there are other things you guys would like me to review and try and demo. And we can definitely make that happen before I head out of town again. But anyway, congrats to Kylie Cosmetics. I think the collection is beautifully done. Some things were great. Some things were not so great for me. But that's kind of how it is for every collection when, like, with any brand that comes out with anything. I'm a little bit more hypercritical. I am a beauty person on YouTube and so I'm very, very, very like hyper aware of things and I really like to dive into products and just really go in and hone in on products, whether I think they're worth the money or not. So that is what I like to do. And if some people don't like that, I'm sorry. And if brands don't like that, I'm sorry, but that's just kind of what it is. That's how my channel will always stay. And it's always gonna be like that. I'm always gonna be 100% honest with you guys. And that's the most important thing to me. You know, I'm building my own brand in the future and I want to, I want you guys to know that I'm gonna try my best to make the products as amazing as possible. I want you guys to always know that and know that I'm never gonna like try to sell you guys something or try to push something that I don't believe in 100%. Yeah, that's it for today's video, you guys. I'm gonna stop rambling. I just haven't filmed in so long that I'm just kinda like, gah, 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 gah. thank you for all the love and support. You guys have been so wonderful the past couple weeks. I know Snapchat has been such a bitch because it like changed the algorithm and the whole thing changed and I feel kind of disconnected from you guys sometimes because of that change. But I know you guys are there and I know you guys are watching and I just wanna say thank you guys for commenting on videos and tweeting me and Instagram commenting me and DMing me on Instagram and just all these different ways you guys get a hold of me because I really do feel the love from you guys and even though a platform might be taken away like Snapchat or like where it's not doesn't feel the same I still feel the love from you guys and I really wanted to say thank you guys for that because it means a lot to me I'm done I love you guys have a great Sunday night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video bye you guys I love you in case you guys are wondering the whole entire bundle is 280 forgot to say that in the last one. Oh, my nose is itching thunder Feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Which of course is so exciting and I think it's so wonderful that she did an entire collection revolving around store. But there's a lot of products in here I really. Forget. Ow! Uh, <laughs> shut up. Just one stroke, that's all you need. Oi. Me encanta. We're gonna just try to go on in and see what we can create. And with the magic of makeup.